Traffic along a stretch of uh, Highway 56 bumper to bumper after power lines were knocked down by oversized loads. K10 Sabine Welsh tells us about the setbacks people face today. I can hear honking definitely just from the kitchen and a lot of people seem mad getting out their cars, walking around, using cell phones. It was pretty packed. Tractor trailers with oversized loads passing through South Maid and Sherman left a mess behind them, knocking down power lines and utility poles, forcing a portion of Highway 56 and FM 1417 bridge to shut down for up to an hour and a half to almost two hours. Well, it was pretty hectic because everybody was uh, kind of on both sides of the road and couldn't cross where the line was, was crossed down in the road. Road. We were having to divert traffic onto South Maid Road and then to McElroy Road. Highway 56 commuters weren't the only ones that had to change up their schedule. So did the local elementary school and city officials. My transportation supervisor came out, talked to me, said that they, uh, you know, they were without power and they were going to have uh, the parents come pick up the kids. The police department was out without power. The city hall was without power, so it was a pretty large area. Within just over two hours, the same trucks ended up in another mess in Sherman, tangling one of their oversized loads in the FM 1417 Bridges utility lines, causing some drivers like Eleanor Austin to reroute to a nearby gas station parking lot. There was a lot of men out there trying to get these power lines off and the police looked like they were kind of upset. They were trying to get people to go around and people were just giving them, you know, a hard time a little bit. They need to lift these lights up a little more for these big trucks because they've had quite a few of them hit them. In Grayson County, Texas, Sabine Walsh, K10 News.